Today, I'm going to be covering a new exotic quest in Destiny 2 called Strider, which came with the Lightfall expansion. Hey, what's up everyone? Like always, please do drop a like and share if you find this video helpful today. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more Destiny 2 content. And I've also got a great community. Come and check it out. It's very, very helpful. It'll be linked at the top of the video description for when you're done. Today, we're going to be covering this Strider exotic quest, which is part of the Lightfall expansion. And you're going to get a brand new exotic called the Winterbite. This exotic quest is not available right away. There's going to be a few steps that you need to do in order to unlock it. And where you get it from is Neptune. If you come over to Neptune here on the map, you go all the way to the top and fast travel to the Hall of Heroes. Just run forward from where you land into this area here. And you're looking for Quint, which is this NPC here. When you interact here, I've already done everything, but there's going to be quests available to you. I can show you what quests these are by going into the journey menu, going to titles, and going over to the Lightfall title. Under the Triumph for Restored and Remembered, these are all the quests that you need to complete for Quinn. There's Stargazer, Maelstrom, Blue Jay, and Strider. So you'll first start out with Stargazer. You'll then unlock the Maelstrom quest. After that, you'll get the Blue Jay quest. And once the Blue Jay quest is completed, you'll be able to collect the Strider quest, which is this exotic quest. I have already covered a video on the channel, Unlock Partition Ordnance, which requires you to complete all of these quests up to Strider. If you need any help with them whatsoever, I'm going to link this video down in the video description. This is a seven step quest and I'm unsure what the first step was. It would have been something very simple like speak to Quinn or speak to Nimbus. Very, very simple. The step two of seven requires you to spend keys on a terminal overload key chest in each of the three different areas of Niamuna. You've got Ahimsa Park, you've got Zephyr Concourse and you've got Liming Harbour. Now, in order to spend terminal overload keys, you're going to need to have them in your inventory. You can see I've got three here, and they unlock that additional chest. Around Neptune, you're going to get loads of random loot boxes that you can open, and they all have a chance of dropping them. So just go and explore Neptune, open any boxes, open boxes from public events that you do. You'll eventually get enough to open the terminal overload chest. However, if you come to Nimbus... You do have a guaranteed way of getting one of these keys. It's on the second bounty here. So if you pick up this bounty, you can see the reward there is a terminal overload key. That is another way and a surefire way of getting one of these. Now, once you have a key and you want to go and open one of these chests, the event you want to do is here, the terminal overload. You can see on my screen now it is currently in Zephyr Concourse, which is perfect because the last one that I need to open. And these will rotate on a daily basis. So it's in Zephyr Concourse now. Tomorrow on the daily reset, it may move to Ahimsa Park. So you'll be able to do that there. And on the next daily reset, it'll move to Liming Harbor. Every single daily reset, that terminal overload is just going to go from area to area. So you're not going to be able to do this step in one day. You'll only be able to do it on the area it's on. So say it's in Zephyr Concourse today. I can now go and do that and open it with a terminal overload key. After today, I have to wait till tomorrow for it to go to Ahimsa Park, Lime and Harbour. I then need to wait again for it to go to the final one. Just keep waiting for this to rotate to the area that you need. Make sure you have a terminal overload key. Go and complete that public event or Neptune's activity. And at the end, there's going to be two chests to open. And once the event is completed, two chests will drop right next to the boss. You'll get your normal chest, which you can collect every time. And the chest on the right side is what you need the key for. And this is what the quest wants you to open in all three of the areas. You can see now the last area done. I've completed that step of the quest. Step 3 of the quest requires you to defeat Shadow Legion forces in the Yamuna to find location data. You need 20 of it. And then you have to dive into the Ahimsa Park Lost Sector for a data cipher to put the data together. So staying on Neptune, if we head over to Ahimsa Park, you can actually see the exotic quest marker there for the winter bike. And the Lost Sector is just over here. Hovering over it now is the Gilded Precept. 
The reason why the exotic quest marker is there is because it's kind of telling you to go and defeat those enemies to gather that 20 pieces of data that you need. But if you go straight to the lost sector, I just advise doing that because that has the enemies that you need to drop the data. And in all likelihood of just one run through of this lost sector, you'll get all of the data required and the extra part. I'm sure you've done this lost sector before, but if you haven't, just make your way to this position on the map. You're looking for this lost sector symbol here on this rock formation. And just beyond that is where you'll find the lost sector. It's just down there. There'll be a doorway. You can make your way down this way. And then as you go through this doorway, you'll be in the lost sector. And with the lost sector complete, I did get all of the 20 data and the other item that I needed. And I'm now on to the next step of the Strider quest. That is step four. And it says the archivist wants to discuss your findings. So just from your Neptune map, if you head all the way north, you can see the exotic quest marker there. Just fast travel to the Hall of Heroes. And head into the Hall of Heroes to speak to the archivist, Quinn. Once you've spoken to and you've accepted, your next part of the quest will pop up where you must approach Strider's Memorial to repair it. You'll find this just behind Quinn. It's over in this direction here, so just go and interact with it. And with that done, you get the next part of the quest, which is step six. And this is kind of like the final part of the quest now. Once you've done this, step seven is just handing the quest in and retrieving your winter by exotic. So for step six, you must destroy the hydras and shut down the confluxes at Maya's retreat. So again, we are sticking in Neptune and Maya's retreat is all the way to the south here, just across from Lyman Harbor. You'll see the exotic quest markers at the waypoint. Fast travel to Lyman Harbor drop zone now, or landing zone rather. And then the quest marker will take you straight to where you need to be. As you get to the location, you'll see the Hydra. It'll have an exotic quest marker on it, so you just need to defeat it. Once the Hydra is defeated, enemies will spawn. You then just need to take out all of these. And there'll be another Hydra that spawns in as well. So it's the same again. Just take out the Hydra and then kill the enemies that spawn in afterwards. You'll notice a third Hydra spawn in at this point, but also this Conflux here. One spawned in after the first Hydra as well, but a bit further back. Just make sure as you're defeating these Hydras and waves of enemies, you're shutting down these Confluxes also. So that's one shut down. And that's the second one shut down. So what I'm going to do now is going to take out the third Hydra. There'll be a third wave of enemies to deal with and a third Conflux. And with all the enemies defeated, I can shut down this third Conflux. And from there, I just want to climb up into this cave here. Just following the quest marker. Here, you're going to find a fourth Hydra. There'll be some enemies too, but the difference with this Hydra is you'll notice that it is a named boss. So it's got a nice long yellow bar there with three segments. This will be harder to kill. I just use my super on it to make light work of it. And with that defeated and all the enemies defeated, there's the fourth Conflux here to shut down and that will complete that step of the strider quest so now all that is left to do for the final part is to go back to the archivist here so just fast travel back to the hall of heroes and then speak with quinn to hand the quest in and with the quest handed in your reward is going to be the exotic winter bite And the Strider quest will be completed. First, we'll take a look at the Winner Bite. It's an exotic glaive that goes into your power weapon slot. And you can see that it comes with big frigid glaive, which fires a projectile that freezes. Taking a closer look at this, uh, the weapon perks here, we've got Super Cold Accelerator. We've got Alloy Magazine. And then Weighted Edge as a trait. This weapon's melee attacks deal increased damage and slow targets when loaded with ammo. You also get the trait Tilting at Windmills. Blocking damage with your shield increases movement speed while shielding. And obviously your Kill Tracker, whichever one that you want. And then the Intrinsic trait there, as we've already mentioned, is Big Frigid Glaive. Fires a large ball of energy that locks onto nearby targets and freezes them. 
With this, the impact is 95. We've got range of 85, shield duration of 39, zero handling there, reload speed 5, aim assistance 81, no zoom, and airborne effectiveness is 10. Rounds per minute is 45, magazine is 3, recoil direction is 0. Now, I've just unlocked this as part of doing this guide for you, so I haven't actually used this at all yet. I'm going to lock it, though, and I will be testing it out. But another thing you have completed, if you head into your character menu and go to Journey and go over to your titles and go to the Lightful title, you can claim your award for Restored and Remembered. Now that the Strider Crest is completed, you have completed the Stargazer, Maelstrom, Blue Jay and Strider, so you've completed this triumph. And that concludes this video today. I hope it has been helpful. Don't forget to hit like and share if it has been. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 content from myself. And now that you're done with the video, come and check out our community. It's linked at the top of the video description. It's very, very helpful. I'm sure you're going to love it. Come and check it out. Until next time, thank you for watching this one. Stay safe and peace out.